And now weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Good morning. We are starting out with some clouds in Springfield this morning. It is 69 degrees with some light winds and some sticky dew points, but we could see a little bit better today than we did yesterday. A very nice clear view of Hammonds Tower there. You've got 10 miles visibility in Springfield, some areas of fog to the south and southeast, a quarter mile visibility near West Plains and nine miles near Branson. Watch out near the lakes and valleys this morning for some of that fog. Again, most of us are dry in Missouri, but we do still have some rain to the south in Arkansas where those showers continue to focus. We've got some locally heavy downpours near Marshall, near Jasper, and then near Mountain View. You see these oranges and reds. That's where you've got some of the efficient rain rates and the locally heavy rain on top of some uh, heavy rain that you got yesterday. So there's some flooding concerns there this morning as that rain continues to focus in the same spot as it did yesterday. Again, you're starting out with some clouds maybe a little bit misty or sprinkly or foggy for our Missouri County. So there's a flash flood watch that continues to the south until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for our Arkansas counties where rain will continue to focus in the same area that it did yesterday. That's because our front is still stalled up to the north and west, which is continuing to keep this door open and the path the same for all of this moisture and the rain to come out of Texas and Oklahoma. We also have a soaked atmosphere focus to the south. You see these bright oranges. These are some pretty high levels of moisture content, especially for this time of year. So that's where you can get some efficient rain rates. Some of that heavy rain just squeezing out pretty quickly all at once. So again, that focuses to the south today on top of some areas that got flooding yesterday, especially in parts of eastern Oklahoma and then getting into the Fort Smith area where they got a month's worth of rain in just one day, really in a matter of hours, which caused some flash flooding, water rescues, many video, uh, much video coming out of that area yesterday of some of that uh, water rescues. Again, you've got the heaviest rain from yesterday to the south, focusing that same area again today. So hour by hour, you'll find some of those showers to the south, some clouds out there this afternoon, a couple of showers possible in Missouri with those highs up around 80 degrees, some cooler temperatures to the south where you've got the clouds, some warmer lower 80s with a few more breaks in the clouds to the north. We're mostly cloudy tonight. We keep a few showers in the forecast tomorrow as that cold front finally comes through, uh, but it looks like it doesn't come through with too much of a punch. But we'll have that front come through Thursday, and then we'll dry out after that with high pressure taking over for the holiday weekend, just in time for that with sunshine and temperatures pretty mild. It stays cool going through the holiday weekend where that sunshine returns on Friday. It hangs around for Saturday as you kick off the holiday weekend with that high at 84 degrees. A little bit warmer on Sunday, sunshine in 86 degrees. We'll keep things quiet on Labor Day. A cold front does come through at some point later in the weekend. Still working on timing of that, so you might find some showers late on Labor Day. But we're looking at the, the highs staying below average at 83 degrees on Monday, and we should have a mostly quiet day. 80 degrees today will be cool and cloudy with some showers focusing to the south. 68 degrees overnight tonight, staying mostly cloudy. 86 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a few showers possible. As that cold front comes through, we'll find some sunshine and uh, things just pretty nice Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Tracking a cold front sometime between Sunday, Monday and Tuesday where we might have to track some showers late in the holiday weekend. But for the most part, the holiday weekend looks dry. A couple of showers and storms on Tuesday.